G'day everyone, just a quick video on how to change filaments or some ideas on how I do it anyway. Uh, so I've got a green filament here and this is a Wanhao I3. First up you've got to work out uh, what your maximum t filament temperature is going to be. In this case I'm changing from PLA to PLA so it's not such a big deal. But for instance if you had ABS in here then you want to heat it, heat it up to ABS temperatures. Uh, uh, again, if you're going to go from PLA to ABS, I'll go heat it up to preheat to PLA temperatures, remove the filament and then heat up to ABS before you insert it. So first up, press down your filament extruder knob and that removes the gear from it. What I do is I push through a few centimetres of, uh, of filament and you can see that coming out now and then I hold it there actually wait for the bottom end of that filament to get hot before I withdraw it. There we go. You can see now that's come out pretty cleanly without any big blob on it. There is a bit of stringing there. So I'll get that out the road. The other thing that I do, uh, and I know some people get filament jams and stuff like that, I find a fine hex key which is finer than the filament width 1.75 mil, really handy. And what I do with this, is I actually, once again, press down on the extruder lever, push it through until, and you can see it actually extruding some more plastic there, and push it out, and then bring that back up. Okay, so now I know the nozzle into the extruder is clear. The next thing is on the filament that you're going to be replacing, get a knife and just chisel the edge so it's nice and sharp. That means if there's any uh, little points that it's got to go through, it makes it easier as you insert it. Particularly on the one how I3, there's a gap between the gear and the, uh, the heating part of it. It makes it a lot easier. The other thing is make sure your first maybe five or six centimetres of the filament is nice and straight. Okay, to insert it, no different than normal, push down on the extruder nozzle and push it in. Wait till you feel it hit the bottom of the nozzle and push it through. And you can see the colour's still green and now it's black. You'll always get a little bit of a transition until you're happy. Once you're right, you can pull that away. I always find it handy to bring the nozzle up from the bed as well. And that's it, you're ready to go. Uh, another little printing hint, I always find to do a skirt around the model that you're printing, I always put at least two loops around the skirt. That does two things, it makes sure your extruder is extruding nice and evenly. It also gives you a chance to adjust the bed if there's uh, any height differences. So you can act. don't ever be afraid to adjust your bed as it's staying to print. It can save uh, a lot of time and effort. And as much as you try and get it level with a piece of paper or something like that, the, uh, the best thing to look for is what it's actually doing on the bed. Hope this was useful. Catch you later.